Okay, the next regulatory piece is protein CNS. And protein CNS, as if you recall, are also uh, vitamin K dependent factors. Um, so we can see uh, some of their effects um, with the uh, coagulation cascade. And, um, and so what I've drawn here is a separate sheet just so that I can enlarge it a little bit because when we get it on this other sheet, kind of gets a little bit small. So I want to make sure that you can see it well. So uh, from the endothelium, um, we also have tissue modul uh, modulin. So that tissue modulin um, um, is already on the endothelium. So as soon as thrombin gets activated, it will bind to some of that thrombomodulin. And that combination or that complex of thrombomodulin and thrombin um, will do activate the next step or activate this uh, regulatory piece, which is the protein C and S um, regulation. And protein C gets activated in the presence of calcium um, with the tissue modulin and thrombin, and it gets activated to uh, activated protein C. Um, and activated protein C, once activated, can activate uh, protein S to protein uh, SA, the activated protein SA. And that uh, forms a complex. And that complex of activated protein C and protein S um, will inactivate, and I have another sheet, will inactivate uh, factors 5A and 8A. So activated 8 and activated 5 get inactivated by this protein C and protein S um, um, complex. Now, a little bit later in the semester when we talk about disorders of the secondary hemostasis, um, cascade and one of those disorders that we talk about is uh, factor five Leiden, which is um, an inability to inactivate factor five. Um, so there's a molecular uh, structure that is um, uh, mutated in this particular protein, and it is unable to be inactivated by the protein CNS, which means it's always activated. And that sort of drives the clotting cycle to uh, uh, tips a scale to I want to clot more. And so uh, patients that have factor V Leiden end up having uh, deep vein thrombosis, pulmonary embolism, uh, those types of issues. It's actually one of the most common um, uh, thrombosis disorder um, in Caucasians, um, particularly those of Northern European descent. Uh, in fact, I'm I'm guessing that at least one of us in this in our classroom um, is positive for factor V Leiden and 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 we don't show signs and symptoms until we show signs and symptoms and so um, you don't know that you had a blood clot until you have a blood clot and so that um, is a kind of an issue here so let me just draw that on our page now so going back to um, this guy here so I'll go back here. And when we draw this, I'm gonna use, let's see, uh, pur purple, let's do purple. So when I draw this, I'll slide this over just a little bit here. So uh, what we have here is the thrombomodulin. So I'm gonna draw thrombomodulin here. And then we have it binding to thrombin. So I'm gonna buy, uh, put the thrombin right here. So thrombin is just uh, 2A, right? And protein C gets activated by that complex. And it gets activated to uh, activated protein C. And then it complexes with protein S. So I'll draw that in here. And that uh, becomes the complex of activated protein C and protein S together. So that is a big complex there and that inactivates five so dash line up to five and it also inactivates eight so i'll draw that line up to eight and then if i zoom in here just a little bit so that you can see that a little bit better here so i drew it like this so protein c gets activated to, uh, uh, PCA by thrombomodulin and thrombin, uh, and then it complexes with protein S, and they inactivate 5 and 8. So there you have it.